a sound game. You want to play 27 outs. You want to give yourself, your team a chance to win. You want to keep your, the momentum in your dugout, especially early on. Uh, I think it puts a little pressure on the opposing team when you know you're holding them uh, to minimal runs early. Um, whereas you know playing with a lead in baseball is a big deal. So when you don't have that lead. Uh, as consistent as we have, have not had the lead, then you know you, you have to make adjustments. Well, the biggest concern is we didn't even need to get healthy. You know, it'd like be nice to have everybody on board. You know, we've had a lot of you know a lot of mix and matching going on right now. You know, we've lost a, our Saturday starter right before a series, and we've had to make some adjustments. And we've done a lot of different things to try and you know make that work. And uh, you know, we're a young team and we're a new team. We have 14 freshmen and JC guys and some uh, untested older guys. and uh, But the biggest thing is, is you know, the, the, we, we need to figure out how to play together and play a complete baseball game without, you know, having one breakdown in an area such as, you know, no offense in a game, or, uh, no, a, a bad start, or, or we couldn't close one out. And it seems like uh, during this little stretch right now, it's it's been a little bit of everything at different times. Now, have you tentatively decided on starters for this weekend? Yeah. Well, I have the day one and two established. We'll go daily and do snap again. Okay. I think both of them have proven that they, they give us a good chance to win and give us a quality start. Now, I expect do snap to go a little deeper this this week. He went through 83 pitches last weekend, and um, you know, and uh, I, I've seen him up to 90 to 100, 105 pitches, and uh, plenty strong. But it might take. It's going to take a little time for him to get his endurance up, but. I think when that happens, you know, we have a guy that um, can give us a good chance to win on the front end of the game, and we, and we need that right now. You know, I, I think the big focus right now is just slowing the game down, taking it one pitch at a time, not trying to do too much, and don't look ahead and don't look behind. This is about the moment. There's no shot clock in baseball, and you need to be in the moment and do your job at that time. Coach, one of the, you know, the guys that got some time in the last few games, Luis Martinez, Hadn't been playing a ton. You called on him to pinch hit in the New Mexico State game. Came up with a big double. Has had a hit in the lineup the last two days after getting a start. Um, how impressed are you with the guy that hasn't been playing to step into a role there, get the pinch hit, and then continue to perform well? Yeah, Louie's just an all-star, all-around great student athlete. I mean, everything about the kid is just fantastic. He's a hard worker. He's a, you know, iconic for this program. And, um, you know, he... he he had, he had some young guys that were playing really well early and playing good defense. And uh, defense is not his strength. He can hit a little bit, and and, and uh, he has a good, well-balanced game. Uh, but for Louis to come out and uh, you know, show the composure that he has, and, and when he's been put in those situations and put on uh, quality at bats and, and take his get his swings off and, and and play defense, you know that that's a, that's a nice shot in the arm. The kids seem to rally around him. Uh, because of who he is as a person and as a player, uh, so having him out there has been a, been a nice, nice uh, surprise. Not, not a surprise. It's just been great to see uh, Louie doing what he's doing right now. You know, and you have a young team, a lot of new faces. He was with the program last year, and Alec and Nathan are kind of your Friday, Saturday guys right now. How important is you know some of the guys that have been around the program to, to kind of perform well and grab hold of the reins of the leadership? Yeah, that's we need that. We need that. We've needed that since day one, and then that's you know that that's a tall order for some of these guys. You know, it's uh, it's not easy when you have all these new players and, and then transfers from other junior college programs. It makes it uh, that 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 jobs can be, that job can be difficult. Uh, you know, we have players that were recruited by three different coaches, um, and that's uh, three different head coaches, and that's just not a not an easy easy uh, you know, culture to establish uh, in, in a short amount of time. Uh, we'll keep working at that, but guys like Louie uh, and, and some of these older guys that you're talking about, they're doing a heck of a job. I'm extremely proud of their efforts. And I, I think, I think you know, moving forward, you know, when you lose eight in a row, it's really easy to point the finger and get excited. These guys haven't shown a sign of that. They're, they, they stay together. They play hard. Um, I think that's a real tribute to our leadership and, and, and our culture that we've established here. Yeah, my uh, weekly routine's a little slower, actually. Um, I pace myself as far as throwing, and I'll throw a bullpen in the midweek, and I won't, usually when I was closing, I wouldn't be throwing a bullpen because I was supposed to be available for every game, but yeah. now that I have a set like day I'm throwing, I just prepare accordingly to that day, so. And mentally, is it any different, you know, not having to be really prepared to go into the game at any point in time? Uh, yeah, things are a little more calm. Uh, I can't be as amp 
amped up as I would be if I was closing the game because the game's not necessarily, well, the game is on the line, but you're taught to pace yourself throughout the game, so it is a little bit different, different feel. Um, I wouldn't say I'm very concerned, honestly. I know that if everybody does their job, the team will come around. I mean, we sh we shown great signs of it, like last night, so it's just it just takes everybody doing their job. I don't think anybody on this team is going to hit the panic button, so to say, so I think everybody is very calm and understands that if we all do our jobs, that the right things are going to happen for us. Uh, you know, as a senior, you, uh, you had success individually last year, and you guys advanced. Um, you know, all the way to the WAC tournament final um, last year. What do you say to the younger guys that, you know, haven't been there or some of the JUCO guys that haven't been, you know, part of CSU baseball, um, you know, based on your success last year? Um, I just try to let them know and prepare them as much as possible for the situation that they might be facing. Um, I know that they're good enough to get, get here with their success and they have the stuff to pitch at this level, otherwise they wouldn't be here. So if they just go out there and pitch like they can or hit like they can and play like themselves, everything will kind of handle itself, you know. But there's going to be little tweaks, obviously, because you're at a higher level and there's different coaching styles and stuff like that. But if they just play as themselves and let their tools work, I'm sure it'll all work out. I try to just let them know that. Just talking to Nathan, you know, he got his that first start on Saturday. You know, what did you see out of him in that performance, and how do you feel like he fits into that, you know, into the starting role being typically the closer? Uh, well, I saw pretty much what we expected out of him: zeros to start the game off, which is what we needed. Um, we haven't been able to use him much late in games because we haven't been in that situation. So, it makes a lot of sense. He's a preseason All-American, we got to use him. Yeah. So, I like it a lot. What do you see as his strengths as a pitcher? Uh, his intent behind every pitch is really, really what separates him. He has good command of all of his stuff, and he has good stuff, but it's really his intent, which is hard to come by. You can't really teach that. Uh, it took me like four years to learn how to pitch with intent. So, I mean, he has it pretty much right off the bat. Mm -hmm. It's really impressive. And in terms of you know how the whole pitching staff, bullpen, all that is, is shaping up, how are you guys feeling about that? Um, guys are starting to settle in, which is nice. Uh, we saw Kevin last night against Cal Poly. He pitched really well. Elijah Park's been doing good. Devontae's been steady all year for us. And Aaron Charles is settling into a bullpen role. He's not sure if he's going to start this weekend after the bullpen, but he's, he's really adapting well, which is what you have to do as a road runner. Mix and match here. We're not a bunch of blue, blue chip, show pony guys. You yeah. Know? Uh, so as a staff, we're coming together. Hopefully, uh, I'd rather come together late than early. So uh, hopefully, right around conference time, we'll be real dialed in. You gotta learn how to relax, let the shoulders down, and play some baseball. These guys are real tense out there, especially pitchers. It's almost like they're throwing uh, some baseballs and they're hoping it doesn't get hit instead of throwing it to get somebody out. Uh, we just need, we need to relax, you know, let the shoulders down and just have fun playing baseball. You see these big leaguers in the big league clubs and they're dancing in the dugout. You guys are professional baseball players. So uh, we, need to, we need to learn how to relax and just play the game.